Hey there, you're watching Amitha Verma. The other day, I was talking to my husband, Bobby, also known as Neil, we'll call him Bobby Neil, about all the exciting things that are coming into our shop this fall and later this spring. Now, here's the kicker. He was not excited at all. As a matter of fact, he was very surprised to see what he thought were very ugly design trends coming back after he thought they were long gone. Are they ugly? Well, I don't think so, but I'm gonna let you decide. Today I wanted to share with you what I shared with him is how to curate and bring some of these old, maybe ugly design trends back into your home to offer a little bit of contrast and variety with some of the farmhouse or French country or farmhouse by Amitha style you may already have in your home. So I'm going to share five love or hate design trends that are definitely making a comeback. Now the first one is one that my husband has absolutely banned in our household. It is Staffordshire. Staffordshire comes from a region of England which it was named after for the style of ceramics or porcelains that were coming out of that region. And some of their most famous pieces are Staffordshire dogs. Neil has told me they feel kind of creepy and it looks like something his great, 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 great grandmother would have in her home. Now what I love about this design trend is they are coming in in all sorts of different colors. Typically they were a beautiful red or auburn and white color. And nowadays I'm seeing them in lavender and white, blue and white, and so many beautiful colors that just blend effortlessly with the different decor that you may already have in your home. Now before the way they were made, I can see why he didn't like them. But now that they come in all of these beautiful varieties of color, they're very easy to decorate with in my shop. And little does he know, they're coming home to be paired away in a little bookshelf right next to my desk. Similarly, a big trend that's making a comeback is blue and white. I've shared a tutorial about all of the different styles of blue and white and the different names, but generally speaking, platters, plates, bowls, decor, planters in blue and white are making a huge comeback in design. This is one that Neil is not a big fan of because sometimes he feels it's too cold and impersonal. I can understand that but I love using it in small doses, such as with planters or ginger jars, maybe tucked in with a pair of warm and cozy color scheme books, or maybe simply a bowl on your dining table. Now the third design trend that's been old, but it's again making a huge resurgence is the use of modern art in pretty much any type of home. I love using pieces like modern art to contrast against an 18th century painting or an 18th or 19th century gilt chandelier or old trumeau mirror so you can appreciate the beauty in both of these styles. We already have some very gorgeous antique artwork and antique trumeaux so I would love to see the contrast of both of the styles in this room. Similarly, another huge design trend that I'm seeing are the use of large prints or patterns and especially almost like a poster style piece of artwork. Again, if you follow me, you've probably seen lots of beautiful acrylic paintings, oil paintings, very fine details and engravings in the artwork that I typically use in my home and design projects. But if you've ever tried to furnish a home or work with a big art wall, sometimes that can be very difficult. And these type of large scale prints give you that coverage and that impact you need to complete your space. Now the last trend that I've been spotting is the return of very over the top kind of goopy lighting. And what I mean by that is it's got all the bells and whistles, lots of carving, maybe a lot of gold, a lot of crystal, a lot of just space and abundance in the light fixture. Now I'm going to confess, I can actually agree with Bobby Neal on this trend. I do think sometimes it has to be one or the other. But there are things about a, a very over the done light fixture that I love and a very simple light fixture that I love. So here's what I told him about the things that we were bringing in and how I wanted to use some of them in my own home. Now, I love the idea of large scale and something very beautiful to, to fill a room, but at the same time, keeping it simple. It all depends on what's going on in the room that I'm working in. 
if it's a room that already has a lot of beautiful design elements, I'm gonna opt for something, maybe the same style, the same color, and the same shape, but a lot more simplified. Versus if I have not a lot of things going on in a room and the light fixture is just that perfect accessory, that's where I might go in for a little bit more of the crystal embellishment or a little bit more of the gold to really elevate and enhance that space. So there you go. These are some of the latest design trends that I'm seeing and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you love these, all of these, some of these, or none of these? Are you with Neil and think some of these are just too ugly to bring into your own home and you're glad to see them long gone? Or are you excited to try including a little bit of some of these design trends? Leave a comment and let us know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That helps me know that you love to see this type of content. Then hit the subscribe or the follow button and then be sure to ring the bell so you don't miss another one of our inspiring episodes. After that, I'd love for you to head over to my blog where you can sign up to receive your free design newsletter and soak in endless hours of design tips. Till the next time we meet, keep using your amazing design gifts to create heart in your home. Are they ugly? I, I don't know. I, I don't think so. Maybe I'll... <laughs> I wanted to share with you five old, maybe ugly, I don't want to say ugly, what's the word? Um, Till the next time we meet, keep making your home amazing with your design gifts. But that was the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs>